It's June 13, 2016, UPBOptionMillionaires.com. About five minutes before the opening bell. Real quick, look at the market here. We're down almost four tenths of percent. Continuing to decline that we saw last week after we could not break and hold above 2100 on Friday. Look at this. Uh, similar type action we saw last summer that preceded the crash in August, late August. We recovered to 2100 level, could not hold it again, and we had the worst sell-off to start a year. Uh, in 2016, are we going to retest these lows? Well, a couple things we're going to have to watch here in the short term. First, are we going to come back up first to test the 2100 level? That's something to keep an eye on. Is the market getting a little bit oversold? Look at the SPY to SP500 ETF, the spiders, right down to support on Friday before we bounce a little bit into the close to recover that key 210 round number. Uh, if you look here short term, uh, we need to stay above that low that we saw on Friday. This would be bullish. Came down to kiss it possible bounce off of it. Energy starting to roll over. We're down over a half percent. But if you look long-term perspective on energy, the XLE ETF, we have broken out of a multi-year downward uh, trend line. Broken out, consolidating, nice flag to the upside. Rejected at 70, much like we were in October of 2015. Rejected at 70. We break above that 70, sets us up. For a move to 76, I think that's the likely scenario after breaking out its downtrend. That would be bullish for the markets. XLF Financials, this is the one to watch here. Tried to break out of a long-term trend line after uh, the highs that we saw in 2015. Tried to break out, could not hold above it. Starting to decline here, is this going to resume uh, down to the bottom of this channel? That would imply significant weakest weakness for the stock market here going forward. Or is this really just the start of a consolidation before we blast above up to 25 on XLE? That's what you have to watch here, the financials, because this market is not going to rally if financials really turn south here. You can look gold, uh, Bitcoin this weekend up to almost $700. You can see GDX on Friday up to trend line resistance again for the second time. Rejected. Uh, third time the charm today. We'll see. We're up over 26 on GDX. As gold continues to break out, tried to come down to retest the trend line. Could not. Two pretty strong days. Gold looks set to really break out about 130. And the VXX, which after months and months and months of, uh, of steady drubbing, finally starting to break out. We're over uh, 15 here this morning. You can see the break to the upside. Possible 1550. We're going to watch the longer term. You look at the VIX bouncing off support. Uh, you can see again, look at the breakout we've had. We're up over 18 on the VIX. You can see support uh, held and we're now breaking up again. If you look back to last, uh, the last decline, 30 was the key level here. I'm not sure we're going to get to it this time. And look, most of the, the real sharp moves have seen along the way a pullback. This is a pretty significant move here off the lows for the VIX. So looking forward this week, we're probably going to see it come down a little bit. We have the Fed this week. Uh, it is monthly options expiration. A lot of things to watch. Speaking of monthly options expiration, uh, those buying LinkedIn calls on Friday or even earlier in the week, betting for upside heading into this week, are sitting pretty. You see the stock just over 130 on Friday. Well, guess what? This morning, LinkedIn is up over 195 a share. Microsoft buying them out. Uh, some options for LinkedIn that were going for two cents are going to go for 45 cents. Pretty, pretty spectacular move for the option market in LinkedIn. All right, UPPOptionMillionaires.com. The opening bell is coming in minutes. Everyone have a great trading day. I'll see you in the, the new chat room at OptionMillionaires.com.